Hey everyone, I'm Link here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, where last time, we made our way to Bean Bean Castle, and freed Lady Lima, though in the process, accidentally helped Cat Coletta, it seems, in her plans. Before we head on, we do want to make sure we are all prepared, we are fully healed, bros points are at a max, and we are at level 10. Ah, oh, we're too late, the Bean Star! Bean Star and Princess Peach's voice are already mine! Once we awaken the Bean Star with Princess Peach's voice, this world will be kicked like a snack cake! Say, Mario boys, you haven't bothered to pay a visit to your host, Queen Bean! I thought you had better manners! Wouldn't you agree, Queen Bean? Perhaps the three of you can sit down over tea to discuss the finer points of foreign policy! And we have a fight against Queen Bean. She is very dangerous and I fucked up the very first. Alright, so remember what I said before about Splash Bros being able to penetrate, uh, spikes? This is where it's important. Normally, you have to destroy both the left arm and the right arm to weaken her. Once you have done that, it will, uh, her, her arms will become limp and her crown will fall off. And then you'll actually be able to damage her face. But with advanced Splash Bros, you should be able to penetrate the crown. Of course, Luigi can't really do too much with that crown in the way, so he's just going to attack the fist as normal. All right, let's try and actually be good at this. Level three, even though I have barely practiced, God damn Dang it, I missed on Luigi! Uh-oh. I'm suddenly fearing. Okay. I just remembered that Bounce Bros attacks... Ow! What the heck? Bounce Bros attacks two, uh, two targets, so that could be an issue. A. A. B. A. Got it. There we go. Also, looks like the higher levels also do more. Okay, so let, let's try and focus on the regular version of... Regular version of Bounce Bros, please. Ow, God, I cannot dodge those attacks. What the heck? Okay, Luigi, you're on healing duty. I can get, I can get Splash Bros just right. I don't know what my issue is with uh, dodging the attacks. Or with getting Bounce Bros working. Yes! I hate you so much, Queen Bean. Alright, just keep using Splash. And she should go down in no time at all. God, Splash Bros is such, such a good ability. Advanced Splash Bros is how you get through this fight, because otherwise it is so much longer than that. Well, with having to destroy the arms, do a little bit of damage to her face, and then her arms come back to life and you have to do it all over again. Okay, we need more health. Yes, plus four! Oh no, Cacoletta forced Queen Meanie to belly black worm. That's what turned her into this! Our fair kingdom is doomed, doomed! How will we ever return Queen Bean to normal? What's that you say? The Mario Bros will do something about it? What can you possibly mean? You speak of the impossible. Why, there is no known way to spit out an ingested belly black? Well, except there is that one way, that last resort. It sure isn't pretty, though. She may be able to spit it up if she drank the legendary Chocola, uh, Chocola Reserve from Ch uh, Chucklehuck Woods. You'll go to Chucklehuck Woods? You'll find the Chocola Reserve? Well, if you're going to make such bold proclamations, I suppose I have no choice but to rely on you. Take this bean bean brooch and head southwest from the castle toward Ch uh, Chateau de Chucklehuck. If you find the Chocola Reserve hidden deep in Chucklehuck Woods, your queen may yet recover. Alright, got the bean bean brooch. Alright, we will do what we can, Lady Lima. 
Let's go see if we can save Queen Bean. Before we do that, we got loot in this castle. Not too much loot, but there is some loot that we can reach now that we couldn't when <laughs> Cacletta was guarding it. Can't get down there. That's annoying. Alright, can we go up into the north here? Still no. Still that weird face blocking the way. Nothing to the left. And y'all are still closed. Yep, okay. Fine. It's just the one coin block, but that's fine. Mario, Luigi! Lady Lima has asked that you also take this along with you. We got a bean badge! That thing is a badge. If you equip it, you'll be a little stronger in battle. Different badges have different effects, so... For now, if you get a badge, make sure you equip it. To equip it, press select to open your suitcase. To equip badges... Select this icon. Here you can see the gear and the badge you're equipped with. Okay, Mario, time to equip the badge I just gave you. Select this icon. This is where all the badges you have are shown. Normally you'd pick a badge. It's simple this time since you only have one right now. Press A and you'll equip the badge. Now you're all set. Good luck and be careful. Oh, uh, sorry Luigi, but if you want your own badge, you'll have to go buy one at the store. Oh, Luigi! <laughs> My heart's breaking! No! That's so mean! Oh, Luigi! <sighs> okay, well... Now that we've finished up in Bean Bean Castle, I believe the... Shops should be properly open now. We can go to the... We can go to the item shop as before. But more importantly... The gear shop is finally open, so we can buy new pants and new badges. Okay, so let's see. We can check the effects on each bro. Um, castle badge just increases power. P badge increases both power and bros points by quite a bit. Before we get that, I do want to look into the clothes. Uh, it. I really like how they set up how the clothing is displayed. You can see an icon, a clothing icon, on the left of each one. Red means only Mario can equip, green means only Luigi can equip, and red slash green means both can equip. So, bean pants, increased defense, hmm. Either way we get a defense boost, but this gives us a little more HP as well, and I've noticed HP I'm kind of struggling with, so we'll get that. Luigi, Luigi, Luigi. Your blue jeans are objectively better. And they're 24% off thanks to your stash. Alright, now we can check out the badges. And yeah, we're definitely going to get you the P badge. Mario, I'll leave you B for now. That increased BP is nice. Eventually there is something specific I want to do with our badges. Eventually, much, much later in the game, there's going to be one badge we get that will break the game. I'm so excited for that, but that's not for a long time. Oh, you know what? Now that we've bought some new clothes, actually, we can sell our old clothes. Sell the work pants and the work jeans. Not for much, but it helps. Also, no notice as I was going through that, you actually get a bonus of the amount of money you make from selling from having a good stash. God, this town is a wreck. Well, I kicked Cacletta out, so... Hmm. We got a level up for Luigi. Um... Did we just give you a stash bonus? You still got some pretty high buffs in there. Yes! Plus four! Very nice. But yeah, we kicked Kekleta out of town, so hopefully that means that it'll be a little bit safer and they can start rebuilding while we try and deal with, uh, Queen Bean. All right, we got Parabeanies. Ow. They fly in the air and do dive bombs, I guess. But hit them good at least once and they will fall to the ground. Okay, 
So how are we doing? Where are we on the map? We just want to head basically west from here. Wait, what's our money? 782. Why don't I think I said 12? I am not bright. Okay, um, that sign went by way too fast for me to even read. Chateau de Chuckle Huck is to the west and Bean Bean International Airport, Airport is to the east. So we are heading east then. Not this way. Down here. Alright, I believe we actually want to climb up this way to head forward. We can go west on the ground, but well... If we want to actually go anywhere, we need to, uh, be up here. Hello there, friends. Travel here is permitted only for select individuals in order to guard the Chucklehook Woods ecology. Oh, the Bean Bean Brooch, the mark of special guest of Bean Bean Castle. Very well then, we shall permit you to enter these woods. We hope you'll enjoy a taste of the incredibly full-flavored Chocola Cola while you are here. All right, we have access to Chuckle Huck Woods. Let's check it out. Also, I am getting so many woo beans out of these enemies. And I gotta say, I'm doing really bad with dodging Parabini attacks. God, I need practice. God, I can really feel those level ups. I'm doing like 15 base damage with a hammer now. All right, Chocola Woods, Chateau de Chocolat. Brewing Chocola Cola, step one. The main ingredient of Chocola Cola is Chocola fruit, which grows only in Chocola Woods. Step two, one place one Chocola fruit in a barrel that's been filled to the brim with savory syrup. Step three, tell funny jokes of the fruit until it lasts, releasing soda bubbles deep within the brew. Well, okay then. Step four, bear in mind that the quality of both the fruit and the jokes will affect the brewing process. Father of Chocola Cola, first generation chateau owner, Bubbles. Alright, learned a little bit about the Chuckle Huck Woods in Chateau de Chuckle Huck. This is quite a large place. My god, look at all this Chocola Cola. Uh, maybe we should be able to navigate through here. Hmm, <laughs> it's a bit of a maze, isn't it? Well, if we just push our way around, we should be able to figure it out. Oh god, did we circle back? Oh no. Maybe this way? Oh, this is such a maze. You can kind of see the path behind the barrels. can kind of see, like, where the ground is. Love to make, would love to make use of that. Though here I can only see the back wall up, uh, up above me and it's kind of annoying. Um, where are we? Okay. Think we made it a little further. And we're out. Wait, who the fuck are you? Where's Luigi? Oh, there you are. Where did you go? This scared me. And who was that? Okay, before we head on, I do know there's some, apparently some secrets around here that most people just miss. In fact, I didn't know about them until like, literally just a few weeks ago. So I'm gonna take a look around, see if I can track it down. Not in this room, I guess. I guess we'll find the secrets later. Oh, bla boo, blast criminy. The famous shadow thief Popple has been caught in full sight. Cripes, you think you're ready, do ya? Well, no one's, nobody's more ready than me, see? I'll show you. I think he's supposed to have a Brooklyn accent, but I can't do that. Rookie, rookie, shake a leg. Yes, boss? It's Bowser. Okay, rookie, it's your turn, see? I want you to squash those red and green drips over there. Yes, boss? Red and green. I feel like I know these two from somewhere. Weird. What? Rookie, are you saying you're acquainted with these two palookas? Yeah, something about them feels real familiar. It makes me feel real mad. Quit your babbling, you! You two ugly mugs came here for the same reason as us. You want the fabled Chocola Reserve. 
Boo! Boo, I say! You really think you can beat me to the punch? Well, open up those ears, punks. I, Popple, Shadow Thief, Filcher of the world's riches, bet you that I get the Chocola Reserve first. Rookie, go to it! And so we have a fight against Popple and Rookie. Popple's a thief. He will try to steal shit from you. Do not let him. I should have healed Luigi. Oh dear. I recommend going for Popple first because if you take down Rookie, Popple will flee. How dare you guys try to mess with the great Popple? Yeah, Popple's an asshole. Oh, God. Well, that was incredibly dumb. Damn. Gosh, remember when I said I remember when I said this game wasn't hard, and then I proceeded to be really bad at it. God, even a failed, even a failed bros attack is doing like 16 damage. Damn it, he's still in mushroom. I'll be taking that. See, you asshole. Okay, Luigi, I'm putting you on healing duty for now. Damn it! What the heck? Okay, let's fix this. Uh, regular mushroom. Don't need to waste a super yet. And you're healing for the, with the mushroom you stole, you asshole. Give that back. Well, not now. You ate it. Damn, missed again! Something I have noticed throughout this Let's Play so far is for some reason, it doesn't happen with Mario, but with Luigi, there's a little bit of- Fuck you! Oh god, I need to check what his actual fucking tells are! Damn you, Popple. Got him. Alright, Popple's gone. Lost the mushroom, I think, but oh well. What was I saying? Oh god. I got distracted by Popple stealing my shit. Okay, yeah, I think with the Bounce Bros, it does more damage not to do the advanced version. Oh yeah, now I remember what I was saying. Um... For some reason, fighting these guys makes my gut flare up something fierce. Uh oh. He recovered his fire ability! Whoa, that was spicy! Don't know why you don't remember anything, Bowser, but well, we still gotta stop you. Anyways, um, for some reason, Luigi has a little bit of input lag, and I don't know why. It's r honestly really concerning. Uh, Mario will have you heal up your, uh,. Rose points. But yeah, just with a lot of inputs on for Luigi, he just doesn't respond right away or it'll just drop the input and it's kind of annoying. Okay, getting better at blocking the hammers. Damn, that that one's too fast for me. Yeah, I have to stick to the regular. And gotcha. I'm sorry, Bowser. I mean, Rookie, but had to do it. Yeah, but yeah. Rookie, you bloated idiot. Who took you in when you were dazed and lost on the mountain? Me, you worthless vermin. I'm so ashamed. Meh, I don't care, see? We're fine as long as we, as long as we get the Chocola Reserve. Let's not mess with these two knuckleheads. We'll scram and hurry on ahead. Yeah. And off they go. Goodbye, Bowser. I mean, Rookie. And goodbye, Foth. No. Popple. Why did I want to say Foth? I'm an idiot. My god, I'm having issues today. God, you should have heard me in Animal Crossing today. I censored it because it was really bad. It was really bad what my mistake was. It wasn't offensive, it was just dumb. Alright, here's the secret I was looking for. I never knew about this until a few weeks ago. They showed it off at... 
uh, AGDQ 2020, which I only finally caught up on as of April of 2020. Took me long enough, but they showed it off, and I was so shocked, because what the heck, that exists. Alright, next time on Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. No, you know what, we, it's all, mm. I just checked the timer, and we're no, we're, we're a lot earlier in the episode than I expected. We did two bosses today, and we're still so early on. What? I'm confused. This game's going by fast. Okay, we can't do anything up here yet. I know that for sure. God, I was gonna end the episode with, oh, two bosses. That's surely plenty long, but no. Uh, we're only at 22-ish minutes in. Have I been saved? Rescued? Moi? Zut alors? Allo, I am the mat mater of the chateau. Cork, that is me. I'm so sorry. I'm trying my best, but I probably shouldn't be trying at all. And moi, I am the petit brother of Cork. My name is Cask. We were stoofed into these these battles by two très bizarre characters. Are you the ones who saved us? Oh, 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 I took it straight to the point. The two who attacked us are after the Chocola Reserve that lies deep in these woods. And oh, you two are after the Chocola Reserve as well. Ah, we. Oui. Mm -hmm. The problem is whether or not that legendary sword even truly exists. Why, even the two of us have never seen nor drunk that famed drink, the Chocola Reserve. Behind Chuckahuck Woods is a sanctuary no one can touch. Getting there is not easy. Ella, qua? Who can stomp his own enemies? And Emma rocks to little beats to make paths, are we? Hmm, perhaps we could get through these woods. But not with these moves alone. Cask, perhaps with that wonderful Emma? Hmm, we, oui. très bien, mon frère. Or, mon frère. Indeed, little old Moa was thinking the exact same thing. Ahem, pardon, Moa. It seems these two have an idea. We'll go see what their idea is in a moment. Uh, looks like it's just the, uh, the bro block over here. All right, let's get ourselves some loot and then we'll go see what they're up to. Yeah, give me that money. How much money are we up to already? 181. We've already recovered basically everything we spent. After having a tete-a-tete -tete with Monfrey just a moment ago, we have decided. To thank you for helping us, we have decided to teach you two Ammer techniques. These are techniques that have been perfected and refined and passed down here at the Chateau. If you, are ma if you master these, they should help you in your bon voyage in the woods. Do you wish to try to master these hammer techniques? Sure, I would love to learn some hammer techniques. First, Manzu Green, give me your hammer. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop with the pseudo faux horrible French accent. I d that's not even close to accurate. I know that. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna try and read them with my horrible Pacific Northwest accent. Mm, we, I see. With this hammer, first press the L button to choose your hammer. Then press the B button to swing. And voila! That is the secret hammer technique. Swing the hammer right and... Uh, swing the hammer high and watch it plunge down with... Uh, with... The joy de vivre of the woods. Okay! You know what? I can't even translate that to English. Anyone with hit with such a technique would become micro-sized. Yes. Very, very small. Anyone this size would feel like a mouse. You could go into tiny holes for micro-adventures. To return to normal, just swing the hammer again in a superb whack de amour. Alright, go try it. Alright, nope, wrong move. Hammer, smash Mario into a mouse. Oh, incroyable. <laughs> incroyable. <laughs> hmm, that sounds horrible in my accent. To think you could produce the, uh... The joy de vivre of the woods on the first shot. 
Uh, Halor, perhaps you should try to put him back to normal. Excellent, magnifique! You could be a genius! Now then, Monsieur Red, give me your hammer this time. This time, press start to switch positions. Then press the L button to select your hammer. Then press the B button to swing. This, this is the ultimate hammer technique. Très bien, no? Crashing down on a gust of wind with the power of the earth. Whoever, she, whoever is struck by this hammer will be completely buried and hidden in the earth. Of course, in this state, moving with the control pad is possible. One feels much like a mole, while you can even sneak under fences for micro-adventures. To come back above ground, just press the A button. Alright, go try it! Swap! Hammer! Luigi into a mole! Ah, oh, bon! The power of the earth crashes down on a burst of wind. That was perfect! Ah, oh, we just pressed the A button to pop up out of the ground again. Fantastique! Now it is time to put these new hammer techniques to the test! Use the techniques you learned to get the two cola goblets in the room next door. The two goblets of which I speak are two of the Bean Bean Kingdom's greatest treasures. The sparkling glass is brilliant! It is the perfect reward for you who have gained these techniques. So, Monsieurs, procure the two goblets. Alright, let's go test out our new hammer techniques. Uh, hang on. Anything up here? Why, yes! I'm going to show you a little nice trick of the mole, Luigi. Wherever you see a small circle in the ground, you can dig up a bean. There are so many beans we can collect. It's going to be a long time before we catch all the beans, but I am going to try to get at least as many of the beans as I can. Yeah, wherever you see a circle in the ground, usually with an X, but though when we're indoors there's no X, unfortunately. Uh, but whenever you see a circle on the ground, Mole Luigi can dig up a bean, which is so nice. Alright, let's let Mario in. Please do not hit anything on the wall. Oh, too late. Sorry about that. And now we can high jump and get the green goblet. Alright, got them both. That wasn't hard at all. Oh, you got the red goblet and the green goblet. Monsieurs, you are amazing. Incroyable. There is nothing left for us to teach you. You have mastered the hammer techniques perfectly. Well, Monsieurs, you may enter Chocolate Woods in search of the famous Cola Chocola Reserve. <laughs> and, as a bonus, whenever you learn a bro's move on the field, you also learn a bro's attack in battle. So now that we have bro's moves for hammer, we now have corresponding hammer techniques in battle for bro's attacks. So next time on Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, we head into Chocola Woods to find the Chocola Reserve. I will see everyone next time.